Hey man, what's good? It's your boy Cartier B and today I'm about to be showing you guys my sneaker collection and running it down for y'all. But if you're interested in that, stay tuned and let's roll the intro and let's get it man. Let's go. You guys are always positioned right here in my room, but let me take you guys over to this part of my room where all of my sneakers are at. Now, if you guys do want a room tour, then let me know. I'd be happy to do that for you guys, but let's get into it, man. All right, man, my first shoe right here is these Yeezy Desert Boots, the Rock colorway. Now, I did just purchase this in one of the recent videos as well as the next shoe that I will be showing after this. You know what I'm saying? This is a good shoe. I do love boots, but I also love sneakers, and I'm not really heavily into just the strict leather boots. So this is the perfect mix of a sneaker and a boot. You know what I mean? You could wear this with shorts. Can you really wear Tim's Timberland boots with shorts? Me personally, I think that is no, like that's just a no-no. But these, you could wear them with shorts and that's what I love about these so much. They're super versatile and for a boot, they're very, very like lightweight, bro. It does feature some reflective around here and some reflective around here. So, you know what I'm saying? If you're biking for whatever reason and you need to have people seeing you when it's nighttime, then these are the perfect boots for you, I guess. These Mihara, Mesa Miharas right here. These are one of the most favorite, my most favorite shoes in my collection at this time. Here's the other shoe as well. I did just cop these in a recent clothing haul sneaker pickups. So if you guys aren't tuned into the channel, then make sure to tune in. Now, if you guys do want to review on any of these sneakers, then let me know. Now it does have their seat right here. Not gonna show y'all the price, but I did cop this off of Farfetch. So there's the authenticity. I do keep all of these little structure things that it comes with in my shoes just to keep the structure nice. I definitely do need to invest in some shoe trees very soon. But what I do love about these is that the laces are very, very, very chunky and they're like a woven, almost knit type of lacing. And I was really, really into chunky laces. I was looking at the Puma Suede because they also have chunky laces on there. I ended up not going with them. I ended up getting the Mihara's because I've been wanting them for a long time. Now these type, this model right here is the Converse model, which as you can see, it looks like a Converse except a chunkier, more melted, disformed look on it, which Mason Mihara did. I absolutely love it. Now it does also have a quote right here on the tongue of the shoe and it says, wearing instructions, trust yourself, wear your way of life, never forget to love, have fortitude, belief in your creativity, never bend your head and always hold it high. That's a great model and I've never seen anybody put a quote or something like that on a tongue of a shoe. So very good feature right there. And yeah, man, it's not much to say. This is a very, I mean, it's a cool shoe. It's kind of like the white Air Force Ones where it's all white, so you could really wear it with a lot of stuff. All right, man, now next sneaker in my collection are these black forces right here. These are my beater shoes. I love these shoes with all my heart, man. And they're really, really dope. They used to have translucent soles, as you can see. <laughs> and they're really, really dirty now. But these are the best forces I've ever had, ever. You know what I mean? This are all tumble leather right here, just like the Leaks Air Force Ones, if you guys know what those are. So super tumble leather here. This is kind of a wax type of uh, lace with these little colors right here. Now these are the Chicago 2019 Air Force Ones. So they do go for a pretty penny considering that it is an Air Force One. It's a Chicago right there, but on the back is what I think is also super cool. So it has this fur type of finish. I don't know if you guys could see, but it's a fur type of finish right here on this little lip thing back here. Yeezy 700 V2 Vantas. You know what I'm saying. All black. And it's honestly not a very dark black. So what Vanta means is a super, super, super dark black. But these are honestly kind of a charcoal grayish. So I don't know. No, I do not know why they... <laughs> so y'all, y'all peep inside here, bro. I don't have... <laughs> But this is so <laughs> I don't have just one in here. I doubled it up like this to keep the shoe structure even better, bro I really need to get shoe trees. No cap everything that Kanye does with it because 
all of their sneakers are insanely comfortable and this is a suede just like on the yeezy boots right here that i showed you guys it's a suede mixed with like this type of rubber thing right here and then a cloth type material so it is kind of made out of a bunch of different materials but it all blends together super nice i would highly recommend you guys to go get yourself some 700 v2s pine green jordan threes pine green so it's green right here this elephant print and then the jordan man logo right here and all black as you guys can see all the stars are still there you know what i'm saying no fading so far in very good condition and i did get these for a steal and jordan threes are super super comfy on the foot there is a lot of padding in these but the newer jordan threes don't have as much quality and cushion and comfort as the old one next up is the good old trusty beat up absolutely dirty the camera is honestly making this look way better than they actually are completely beat up black and white old school vans now i am gonna definitely be needing to cop another pair of these just because it's back to school don't really want to be stepping out in these but these are also another pair of beaters it's good to have beaters in your collection you could throw these on like i just went to a lake house not too long ago like literally yesterday so you could throw these on right here and you'll be set you don't have to worry about getting it dirty don't have to worry about mud these are 60 dollars to get i do have these loose laced is these multi-colored jordan one lows the colors are corresponding which i thought was cool so as you can see that this tip is a green lace right here and then this swoosh is a green lace this is pink right here this swoosh so this is pink as you guys can see it just corresponds but to be honest i do not know why i got these because my color in my wardrobe is literally black neutral olive and some blue denim and that's really all my wardrobe consists of pretty much and some white but there is definitely no pink there's no turquoise and there's no neon green in my wardrobe so i don't know why i got these but they still are hard and i'm glad to have these in my collection all right next up would be the the all white air max 97s but my bro drew works at foot locker and they were having this mismatch thing right here you guys can see the 97s and i think they're tough but to be honest i really really wish that i did not get them for the simple reason that Air Maxes do not fit my style, my swag, my personality, nothing at all. So you might wonder why did I get them? I honestly have no clue whatsoever, bro. All white Air Force One, bro. Completely coked out. Brand new, dang near. As you guys can see, barely worn on the bottom at all. I probably wore these outside like two times. This is the swag right here. This is the swag of how to lace your Air Force. I'm telling you, bro. If you guys want to know how to lace it like this, then you can check out the video on the top three ways to lace your sneakers. But not too much to say about this. Definitely an essential in your collection. If you don't have a pair of brand new all white Air Force Ones in your collection, definitely invest in them just because you need it, bro. It's an essential. I also have a completely beat up, dirtier pair of these but I'm not putting them in the sneaker collection because they're just complete beaters. I don't care about them. Next up is these New Balance 990 V2 Silhouette Wolf Gray Colorway. Super good shoe. New Balances are very, very comfortable. And now I do realize why grandpas and grandmas wear New Balances so much. Because, bro, the ankle support and the comfort and cushion on New Balances are tough. Are are absolutely amazing i love this sneaker i honestly don't have a lot of gray and white in my collection well i don't have a lot of gray stuff in my collection so i don't wear these too much but i'm definitely glad to have a pair of new balances in the collection just for the simple reason that it's such a great and comfortable sneaker yeezy slide suits right here amazing slide coziest not coziest but most comfortable squishiest comfortablest i've already said that slide that i've ever owned it's a very dark brown and it's such a light slide it's great bro you could throw this on with anything i absolutely love this colorway and the bone colorway are my favorite colors for the yeezy slides and i'm definitely not mad that i bought them a lot of people have them now but it's a great it's not a sneaker but it's a great 
like slide to have in my collection. It's the only slide that you'll need. Doc Martin boots. Now I'm not sure what specific model this is. It is the Doc Martin's industrial steel toe boot. I'm not sure if there's models or anything, but I did actually get this from a consignment store for $25. Great steel. As you can see, bro, I beat these up. There's some ripping right there. Love this boot. It's a great boot. Now I don't really wear leather boots like this, but I feel like as a guy, I don't know. I just feel like you should have at least one pair of leather boots in your collection just because you need it, bro. You just need it. Trust me. Once you put on a pair of boots, bro, you're going to fall in love with them. It looks so nice. It looks sleek. It looks clean. But I'm not going to lie. I'll choose the Yeezy boots over the docks 10 times out of 10 just because I really love sneakers, you know what I mean? I love sneakers and that's kind of like a sneaker boot. Anyways though, those are all the sneakers in my collection. Obviously there's other like Birkenstocks and just some random miscellaneous stuff like that. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and let me know what you guys want down in the comment sections below and to be featured in a rating subscribers fit or Q and A's and stuff of that sort. Follow the Insta also just cause I dropped fire flicks and that's the end of this video. Let me stop rambling on. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next day, man. No cap, no kinini, no kizya da bop da bop da boo.